My name is Kutay Punarcı. I'm the strategy director of Baikar Technologies. As Baikar, here we are Thailand Defense and Security Summit. We are proud to be interacting with local companies and uh, all the defense authorities. So Baikar has founded in 1984 and uh, since 2000 uh, we have been investing heavily in the R&D of UAVs. So in product product portfolio we have three main products, mini UAV, tactical level Malek class TB2 and in 2020 we are going to be uh, on the, in the air with the, our new Hare class Akunji. In TB2 uh, Currently we have more than 100 uh, UAVs in the skies from different countries uh, and uh, it's a combat proven tactical level UAV uh, over 150,000 uh, hours in the skies uh, and uh, it's with, uh, it can be armed or unarmed uh, and it has uh, fascinating features uh, that uh, it's been accepted by many uh, authorities as best in its class. As Baikar, we have a very strong footprint in uh, Eurasia uh, geography. However, we are here today uh, to make our footprint as well as uh, in Southeast Asia uh, and uh, have the expectations of, our, of the local authorities and explain our product portfolio and capabilities. This is Serdar Demir. I'm the Vice President of Turkish Aerospace Marketing and Communications. So we are in Thailand, we come here with our combat problem products. Turkish Aerospace is the one of the global leading company. We have a great portfolio, unmanned air systems, helicopters, training aircrafts, also space systems. We have combat problem products like ATAC and our UAV systems. So in Asia, we like to expand our network. ATAC is the, our most famous, major and combat proven product. For, so far, over 50 in operation. We produced 50 of them. Those are in operation. Also, some other Asian countries. We are in negotiations, so we'll see our attack helicopter in Asia. This is our first national helicopter. This is a multi-role helicopter, actually. We can use it as an ambulance, firefighting, cargo, and other five sections. We are under the certification process right now. We have a four prototypes so far. End of the this year, we planning to the finalize the certification. Then we're gonna start the mass production. Then we're gonna see our helicopters under the Asian skies for the, the civil use. Another major and important product by Turkish Aerospace is Anka. Anka is our another UAV system. It's a male class UAV system, medium altitude, long endurance. It's a 30,000 feet altitude, 24 hour endurance and 250 kilo payload, over 20 in operation. We do great works, great jobs with ANCA. My name is Özgür Gülaryus. I am the Deputy General Manager of STM, which is Defense Technologies and Engineering Company in Turkey. STM was founded in 1991 and it's mainly belongs to Turkish Defense Industries Presidency and we have been working on quite many fields since that time and we are focusing on naval platforms, cyber security and also autonomous systems is our basic focus areas nowadays. I should mention that STM is mainly an engineering company so in all the products that you see here we are designing them by ourselves. We have quite high amounts of skilled engineers working on naval platform design capabilities. So we can start the design of the ship from scratch and according to the customer's need we can make the completed design and then integrate any kind of weapon systems or other systems into the naval platforms and then we can build them in anywhere on earth. Actually it's one of the main capabilities of STM. We don't have a shipyard of ourselves but we can use the customers even shipyard to build the ships. We are here in Thailand, we can communicate with customers, understand their needs and then offer quite applicable solutions to their requirements. There are quite many countries in, the, in this region that we are working on some programs and we have planning to work on some future programs also. So that's also the reason that we are here to communicate with the current potential customers also. Actually, when we think of the region and the countries here, when we think about their requirements and their needs, fast attack craft that you see here is 
the most suitable ship that's needed for this region. It's designed by STM completely and now we have completed its pool tests and so on. But as I said, we are an engineering company, so according to the needs of the customer, the engine versions of the ship can change, the speed of the ship can change, and the systems that is, it has on top of it can change and we can modify them quite easily. My name is Emre Akın. I am the Strategic Planning and Market Development Director for the Neural Makina. As you know, Neural Makina is in tactical wheel 4x4 armored vehicle business. Uh, we are one of the suppliers not only for the Turkish army but for our friendly allied countries in Middle East, Africa, Europe, Far East, Central Asia. We are here in Thailand because it's a big uh, market Far East for us. We are not aiming to serve Thailand but also regional countries and we would like to share our experiences that we gained from Turkish army, Turkish special forces teams with our vehicles. We are here also to share our technology production base as well and we have lots of good companies that we are in touch here. We are about to sign a couple of contracts with some regional countries here so hopefully early next year we will be announcing some important contracts for us both for our HDR Yalchin and NMS vehicles. There's a huge interest to our vehicles based on their state-of-the-art engineering developments and combat proven status of our vehicles. So we are in Thailand exhibition because Thailand is one of our focus countries in this region. We have great interest to our products from the countries in the region. Uh, in Thailand we have good local partners working with the end user requirements here heavily on. Uh, I don't want to name the other countries in the region but we are focusing on a couple of countries here just to indicate our involvement in Far East, uh, Far East uh, defense market. Uh, currently this week we have another team uh, participating in the DSCI exhibition in Tokyo. So we have two teams in the region supporting local governments for their defense needs. My name is Burak Ayaroğlu. I am the regional manager who is responsible for Asia-Pacific region including Thailand. We have been participating in this show regularly and this time again we brought many of our equipment which we find some opportunity in Thailand. Uh, on the right hand side you will see our 30 mm remote controlled weapon station which we are following an opportunity in Thailand. Uh, this system integrates a 30 mm gun and electro-optic suite and it is remotely controlled. We integrate this uh, system on vessels and now in Thailand we are looking for uh, we are following a project for this particular product. Apart from that we are introducing our anti-drone systems, manpack jammers, communication equipment, underwater torpedo countermeasure systems and some border security systems uh, in this exhibition. Thailand is one of our focus markets and countries in the region. We would like to bring our capabilities to Thailand. We would like to establish uh, local partnerships if necessary. My name is uh, Mahmoud Aksit. I am the CEO and chairman of the Tusash Engine Industries, TI. We produce uh, UAV engines and recently we also started working on turboshaft engine project to, for helicopters. Actually, this is the first time we are in uh, Thailand uh, as a company. Our expectation is like globally there is a big increase in the interest of UA UAV aircraft usage. And in the parallel uh, in the Southeast Asia, we also see a big market growing in UAV front. And uh, there is not, uh, there are not many uh, engine producers, uh, especially uh, producing uh, UAV engines. Our engine, uh, what you see behind me here, is is uh, one of a kind. It's the best in class. It's ge geared towards male class UAVs, uh, anywhere from one and a half ton to two ton aircrafts. Uh, if it's used in as a single engine. If it is used in double uh, configuration, it can be even uh, given power to higher uh, weight UAVs. So in this class, uh, this uh, engine we developed 
uh, has the advantage of going as high as 40,000 feet and uh, maintaining uh, maximum power up to 20,000 feet, which is which we call critical altitude, which is uh, almost double of the competition engines. And it also uh, gives the good performance in the fuel consumption, which is 11% less than the best competitor. So we see like a good potential in the UAV market in Southeast Asia that the users and users may prefer our engines rather than uh, some other engines in the market. Uh, so uh, we are in the region to get to know the companies and get to know the uh, final end users like uh, Ministry of Defense from different countries and the uh, Air, For Air Force uh, Chief of Staffs and uh, generals actually. So it's, for us it is the first and for many of them it is the first they, they get to know our engine. Hello, this is Gülderen Bağlaçer. Uh, I am the Director of Marketing and Exports of uh, Makineya ve Kimya Endüstrisi Kurumu. Uh, this company is a governmental company of uh, Turkey working on defense industries, uh, having 10 factories. Uh, these 10 factories work on uh, four different uh, groups. Uh, ammunition production, small arms, me uh, medium caliber and high caliber ammunition and also uh, weapon production group, uh, again uh, small arms, medium, uh, medium caliber and uh, high caliber weapon systems, uh, rocket production and pyrotechnic production. Uh, regarding Thailand, uh, we are uh, supplying 5.56 infantry rifle parts until now and MP5 uh, submachine gun parts. Uh, we introduced newly designed MPT-55 infantry rifle to Thailand. Until now, we are just negotiating the contract conditions of uh, 400 units of this infantry rifle and we are uh, planning to introduce this infantry rifle to Thailand Army also. Besides these infantry rifles, we are uh, we introduced the sniper rifles and the uh, 275 inch rocket system uh, to uh, Thailand land forces. We are uh, planning to extend our uh, relationship uh, with uh, Thailand defense industry uh, authorities and the companies. While uh, supplying uh, the MPT-55 in infantry rifle, uh, we propose the authorities our production regarding the ammunition. 5.56mm uh, uh, cartridges uh, are produced according to NATO standards and we have interchangeability property uh, jet, uh, that is certified by uh, ERTC Center in London.